Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Life at TSL. As you can see, I'm standing in front of a door because it's another house tour. It is my house. Let's go. Legit, I know the password. Finally having my own place. Hey, hey why are you in my house? Hello, no, what, what do you mean your house? Why are you in my house? <laughs> uh, I mean, my house is your house. That's right, yeah. welcome to our house. Yeah. <laughs> no, lah. so we are at Rhinus house. Yes. He finally moved out. Oh. Yay! So yes. um, I am a 30 year old, finally moving out from my parents' 31. house. 31. Uh, so I am a 31 year old, finally moving out of my parents' place. And I actually specifically chose this because it was the furthest away from <laughs> Oh! No, 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 no. It's because it's near to the office. Yes. And near Amanda and I. Yeah, so we can finally like, you know, go for supper. That's right. Yeah. It's side by side. Okay, so uh, welcome to my humble abode. Let me just show you guys around. Actually, you've been here. Like, you've been I've so been here. Times. I mean, I know the password also, guys. Okay, before we show them your entire mm. house, maybe you can share with them what is this house even called? Because it's not HDB. It's not condo. What is it? So this is like a mixed development condo. Mm. And basically, it's on top of like a shopping center kind of thing. It is a two-bedroom flat. And it is around like 800 square feet. Don't not too big, not too small. Don't know how big is that, but being here, it feels extremely big. I mean, anywhere you go, it's That's like extremely also big. True. That is also true, yes. Yeah. So, shall we start from here? The moment we step in is your kitchen. Yes, this is what you see when you open the door, right? And I think as a single guy, I don't need like a huge kitchen, but I actually got this island from the mm. internet. I shipped it from the US. I wanted like this kind of like island feel without using too much space because I mean it's not like a very big space and it's not a very big kitchen yeah, yeah, to begin yeah. with. Yeah, so this is actually foldable as well. So if I don't want it, I can like fold it and put it in the storeroom. Store room. Correct. Oh, okay. Yeah. But why from US? Singapore don't have me? Singapore don't have. Oh, serious? Ah? It's an origami kitchen island. Damn, yeah. how much? I got it for sale. It's originally 600. I got it for 250. <gasps> because it was um, on Facebook Marketplace. Oh my god, less yeah. than half the price. Nice yeah. lah. I use this to chop my vegetables, anything else. Um, a lot of like onions and garlic. <laughs> oh my god, this one quite old already. Hey, hey, this, one is, already. this one is sprouting already. I got some appliances wow. for myself as well. So I think house should always have an air fryer. I myself don't use microwaves, so I just use the air fryer and I kind of like the fact that it's like a mini oven, mm. so everything is crispy. If you use microwave, it's like a bit noir. Yeah, yeah. no, just imagine, okay, if you put broccoli in air fryer and microwave, yes. which one tastes better? I tried it before, coming from me. <laughs> air fryer broccoli tastes better. I realise you are very colour coordinated with the blue. Yes. And also you save space by having all in one things. Correct, and correct. you are extremely neat. Thank you. That's right. I have came here and eaten a few times. He cooked for me and my friends. Aww. Very nice. Okay, let's move on. on. I guess that's not the end of the kitchen. Okay, so <laughs> the kitchen it is very small. So I have to like try and find ways to, you know, keep kitchen stuff. And because this is a bomb shelter, right? And they use like metal doors. Mm. So what I did was I bought like this thing. And it's like a very strong magnet. Um, oh. Holder. So I put all my like tongs, la, strainer. Actually, I want to show you guys. I the the storm actually very very big. Imagine got no things. Now got a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. So this is where I put all like um, things that I don't want people to see. But you've seen it already. Camera gear, trolley, um, random paper bags. Yeah. But I think the plan is to clear this all away, put shelves, and maybe put like my bed. <laughs> My bed. I said pantry. Bed. I said pantry, not your room. <laughs> so let's head off to the dining area. Go fetch. This is my dining table. Mm. Uh, we have had our ideations here, and it looks kind of small, but actually you can extend it, mm. Yeah. So there's this part where you can like flip open. Actually, this is twenty dollars. Oh. Yeah. What second carousel. hand? Yeah, second hand. Oh. So I got this from this Angmo that was living in the country like tomorrow. Then he just needed to like sell it away. Wow. Yeah. Like okay, I take it now. Fast deal, twenty dollars. Ten percent of the original. <laughs> I, I really like this table because, like, there are multiple drawers that I can just put stuff inside. Of. I've eaten a lot of food on this table, 
uh, the last time I came, oh my god guys, I had army stew and Korean barbecue on this thing. He made it for us. Yeah. He's a very good host, just want to say that. Yes. Thank you. So after this shoot, that's what we are going to eat everybody. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we're going to the living area. Mm. This is my very comfortable sofa. And I guess this can fit like maybe three to four people. It's one of the it more comfortable sofas I've sat on. Plus. Also because it is filled with like soft furnishings. That's what I learned from shopping. <laughs> yeah, soft furnishings. So like that. When things like that happen, like your, your guests want to sleep and they can sleep over, you can actually extend this. Then I can just like do this. And, and like then a, a blanket. I can roll oh. even more. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, so this so small. Ah, uh, then you can just like, good night. Good night, everybody. Ah, uh, sleep video. <laughs> Please show the rest of the house on your own. Thank you. Okay, let me off the light. Then I can meanwhile soon be and watch on my projector. Oh my god, your projector is damn sharp. I don't have a TV. I chose to use a projector because my space is very limited. So a projector is basically just using a white wall and I get a big screen out of it. Lah. If I get like a huge share screen, I don't have space for that and it'll be a bit sorting. So the only downside is I cannot watch my shows in the middle of the day. So what I did was to buy blackout blinds from IKEA. So that is like the best of both worlds. Okay, so these are my real plants. Okay, <laughs> avoiding, avoiding... Birds of paradise and feet. Okay, and then, but plus the sunlight is here. La. Yeah, the sunlight is here and the window very, very big, right? Mm -hmm. So, very nice to put plants. Then I also put a few plants here. I'm trying to grow oh. like a pumpkin. You can put the onion there also. <laughs> Back there is the studio. Studio R. Studio R indeed. Okay, so I'm going to on this. Striking. Striking. Then um, fill light, then hair light. Actually, I have not done anything here. <laughs> yeah, serious? Ah? Yeah, I live here for like a few months already and never do anything. Huh, but every time I come, it's always here, all these things. Yeah, no. Yeah, I've not <laughs> used it. This is basically a Manfrotto uh, set. So the Autopo also is from Manfrotto. <gasps> Tripod and the light stands are all Manfrotto because they last very, very long. So this kind of like, Auto poles. Uh, you can see it's like from ceiling to floor. Mm. Um, it's like more of like a rental friendly kind of like situation. This is a very very good way to have mm. this kind of like setup to your own very small studio, but not like damage the the building. Plus, when you shift house in the future, you mm. can bring it along. Yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. Have to yeah. buy again or do yes. anything again. Like normal studio, you can just. Oh my god! Uh, if I ever need to take a proper IC picture, I can just come here. <laughs> okay, the piece de resistance is my bed. Uh, I've never owned a queen size bed before. It's mm -hmm. always like single bed because I was living with my parents, right? And I am like super thankful for this because it is also memory foam. You wanna try? So this bed is from Musa, and the good thing is, right, it's adjustable. Yeah! Okay, let me see. I'm ready. Let's go up. I feel like sitting up straight, but I don't feel like I'm moving. Uh, I'm moving. I'm moving. Wait, I'm sitting. I'm seated. Damn cool. cool right? Damn cool. I tell you, when I go hotels, right, don't even have this kind of bed in hotels, you know? I don't know. I also feel very, very pampered every time I sleep, every night. I feel like I always go on staycation. It's like Legit. every day staycation. Yeah, plus, look at the view. I also have like another projector over here. Then I can watch movie. So it's like a home cinema experience, I guess. Why will you ever get out of your house? That's why I don't go to office. Right? Yeah. This is a great space. <laughs> I remember this bed, not only the back can shift, even the feet area can yeah. also shift. Okay, so this is something I learned, right? If you are working, like, you know, you walk a long day, and then you should lift your feet up because then your, your blood flow can ah. like be away from your feet. Let me on something. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's a massage! It's a massage bed. Got vibration, got massage. <laughs> this bed also has its own ensuite bathroom. So this is typically where I like do all my stuff. Lah, because it's just next to the bed. 
And then I do my skincare, all this, whatever. Okay, balcony time. The highlight of his entire house. Yes. His balcony and the pool next to it. Okay, the balcony is not very big, mm -hmm. but it's able to fit like this. I don't know where, what this is called. Lounge, lounge area. The other time I came here with Chow and Praf to hang mm. out at Reiner's place. Then we were sitting here, some of us in the pool, some of us sitting here, eating chips and drinking drinks. Damn shook. Then it was at night. Then he had those like starry nights and like yeah. night lights. <laughs> wow, what a vibe. I don't know lah. I feel very thankful that I have this, this space because I love water. So every time like, Actually, I swim right before office. So in the morning. Yeah, in the morning. So like at seven a.m. before the sun like really like shines on you. This is what happens. I like, come out from here, sleep, come out, then I take out my shirt, oh. then I take out my pants. <laughs> Wait, this is this? Oh, like a real? Oh, okay. Situation. Are you coming? <laughs> nice, now I also want to go in but I never bring extra clothes and I got makeup on. No, I think it's that it's damn cool because I not only do you have a pool, the pool yeah. is literally next to your bedroom and you have a private access to it. It's like your private pool. Actually do you have do you have any tips for people who want to like rent houses or looking for types of houses to rent? I think one good tip is to go to Facebook Marketplace, Carousel, to go and see like lease takeover ones. Because lease takeover, they already have like a set lease amount for the rent. Then you can ah. just take over for a few months and then if the landlord likes you, then they will just extend. Oh, so everything just falls into place nicely for you and you're like lucky. Yes. Really yeah, is really lucky. lucky. Um, obviously, I did my research also um, before I got to this place. And there were a couple of properties that under lease takeovers are pretty affordable. Mm. I guess you'll never see this kind of scene again where we'll do outro in the swimming pool. You can do it. Go ahead, man. Hope you guys like my house tour. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, ring the notification bell down below and watch all our videos over there. Bye! <laughs> Bye! Bye! Okay, guys. We got the house to ourselves now. It's, I lock it. I lock it. Let's go.